Hello, everybody, and welcome back to LP Live. I'm Paul. Hello. How you doing? Chat, say hey. Say hey. Good. Thank you, chat. Uh, joining me on this one, because I don't have a house full of people this time, is my buddy Nito King, a fellow Space Quest nerd. Say hello. Hello. You'll recognize hello, him. Hello, house full of non-existent people. Oh, no, there's, there's totally existent people here. We have a chat full of friendly nerds, and also that guy the glasses peeps. Say hey. So last time we, we oh gosh, we're, I'm not, I can't remember exactly where we left off because I had to take a break from this game and, and play a couple rounds of doing this forever too because I kind of found it and stuff. But hopefully we shall remember. Okay. Um, okay, and I gotta think back here. Travel clearance is 5.9, which I think gives you everything in level 6 and one other place you can get to, but I don't remember where. I'm um, just trying to remember what we have. So we have a picture. I know we need to get into the hotel. Um, I think we did everything we need to in the diner. I guess we'll just have to kind of make our rounds here, just to kind of uh, get our bearings here, see what we were up to. Yeah. Now, one thing you might want to keep in mind, I'm pretty sure it's not too late to start doing this, but there are all these piles of garbage everywhere, and people are going to yell at you in the chat if you don't start clicking the hand on them and cleaning them up. Oh, so I'm... Okay, so I still have to do my janitorial duties, even though I'm... Completely free. I'm not even a janitor on official ship anymore. I still had to yeah, clean up after everybody sure on the worth space points, station. And I know it's worth an achievement if you get every one of them. Uh, let's see. I can't really remember what I'm doing, so we're just gonna go through. The wedding. You need to stop the wedding. I need to stop the wedding. That's what I gotta do. So, um, let's see. How, how good is your Roger Wilco? I can give it a try. Okay. I need to get into Beatrice's wedding! I advise against crashing that wedding, Mr. Wilco. General Havoc is not to be trifled with. But she's my girlfriend! I can't sit idly by while she marries another man! It's a small private function consisting of the highest ranking officers and presided over the chief of security. Trust me, you don't have any chance of getting in. Highest ranking officers? I take it you weren't invited? I most assuredly was invited. To Simply not going. Why aren't you going to the wedding? Too much work to be done here, but the invitation's already been forwarded to my phone. Ooh, his phone, eh? If you're not going, can I have it? No, I give you a job. Go do it! Hmm. How's your security clearance? Not high enough to know what you're thinking. You don't leave this station until the Chief of Security himself says so. But if I were you, I'd just go downstairs and rent out a room. If they give you any guff about it being free, just have them give me a call and I'll okay it. Sweet! Um... See, I think that's really all we need to know from him, but I do want to know if I can ride his wheelchair. Can I ride your wheelchair? Excellent idea! And where shall I sit while you're joyriding? The floor, perhaps? Okay, how about this? I sit on your lap, and we go cruising around the common. Are you being annoying on purpose, or is this the reason you're lousy with jumps? Why are you in a wheelchair? Did someone throw you out a window? Because if they did, that would be awesome. Good. Uh, I do believe you just reached a whole new level of stupid. Sorry, I just zoned out. What were we talking about again? Forget it, forget it. Um, okay, I think we're, uh, I think we're good. Let's see. Can we apply for now? We're not going to get a better job. That's just, that's our lot in life. I'll go now. Get some work done! Let's see, can I clean up the paper shredder? No. Uh, that's what the paper shredder wants you to do. So, let's go down to the hotel and get ourselves a free room for starters. Uh, that would be, that'd be the that's common, I believe. That looks like a pile of garbage over there. That's mine. Actually, it looks like your picture from here. That's on the Skype window. You pick up the trash and deposit in a nearby dumpster. Even when you're off duty, you just can't shake the habit, can you? Hey, we got points for that. Sweet. Yep. Um, is the music a little overwhelming? Let me, let me turn that down. I'm trying to think what this sounds like. Final Fantasy VIII. Ooh. Oh no, a bag of dry peas. You take the flyer from the ashtray. And I don't well, see it flying. It's, just, it's not doing anything. Give, give peas a chance. 
It's a flyer from the Food Mart, somewhere in level 6 common. It's advertising their latest shipment of imported vegetables with coupons. The flyer cleverly reads, give peas a chance. Never seen a Food Mart. No, I haven't. Okay. Insert travel pass. Okay, so I need the travel pass before I can get into the hotel to have them give me a free room. Okay, so our job here is to stop a wedding. And weddings are usually stopped from the bathroom. I know this. No. Yep. So, you know, if you watched enough Doctor Who, you would know that's a Dalek. That's a Dalek. I know that. And it looks very well 3D rendered as well, um, except it really moves on a 2D plane, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, let's see. Intelligence Command, Shuttle Station. Actually, I think there's new places I can go now, which I haven't even been to because my security clearance just got upped. So let's yep. go... You've been to the med lab, but I think that was entirely cutscene and you left without actually doing anything. Okay. Ooh, hello, furry. They're permanently nailed to the wall unless you have hammer or crowbar or oh, itch it up. More mail over diplomas. Why is it you can never find a real doctor in an adventure game? Okay. A real doctor in Hugo 3. I will try my best to do a female furry. Hey, you! That's a nice nail file. Thanks, but it's the file. It's got it as a bargain over the dollar shop. Also, I picked up some nice body with lanterns and a new coffee mug at the same price. Uh-huh. Yeah, anyway, can I have it? Can I use it after you? And what am I supposed to do while you're using it? Nah. <laughs> You could always play with some strings. Racist. And I could always maul you to death. I used to have a cat. His name was Pickles. He was a stupid kitty, though. And this has what to do with me? I thought you might know him. You cats are like that, right? I'm not a cat. Pickles always used to hop up on the furniture and we'd hose him with a spray bottle each time. Then one day he got into the dishwasher, so he turned it on. Poor Mr. Pickles. You killed your cat? No, but let's just say that after that, it wasn't safe to sleep until he was locked in the bathroom first. I'm sorry, I must be really offending you. Closer to annoying. Would you feel better if I scratched behind your ears? I'm not a cat! Down, kitty! Retract the claws! Bad! Bad! I absolutely hate you right now. Feel and yet... Mutual. I got points for pissing off the secretary. Well, it might mean there's some kind of clue there. <laughs> and this is just because I want to hear you do this. Bark, 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 bark! I can always call security on you. Shut up. <laughs> you be a good kitty. <laughs> You're an insensitive prick. And wow, Rat Rick, he's really stacked. Look at that. He's got bigger breasts than most girls I know. Well, it's because you picked up the garbage. Wow. Where's the doctor? I need some painkillers. The doctor is out for lunch at the moment. Will he be back soon? Let's just say he's probably having supper by now. Mind if I just run into the other room and grab some meds? Not on my watch, buddy. What's a nice kitty like you doing in a place like this? You know, I ask myself the same thing every day, you know? It always comes back to me, and I'm putting all this waking effort into what? So I can have a few brief moments of happiness every month? Uh, those moments even real happiness. Know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, last week I went to this party, but I didn't talk to anyone. I danced for like five minutes and sat in the corner drinking punch. This is weird. I'm so committed to just sitting around. Uh-huh. So it calls into question, why are you complaining about why? I'm good at sitting behind this desk and answering the phone, but I'm not good with people, right? So why am I living for these moments with the people? I should be living with these moments while I walk in every morning and say hi to my stapler. I'm going to make a sense. I'm just rambling on. You're a cat. <laughs> you be good, kitty. I'll be right back. Not if you're smart, you won't. Let's see. Let's pick the plant. Don't touch the plants, Roger. Your botanical skills are mediocre at best. So do I, I have anything... I handled the plant in Space Quest 1 pretty well. Wow. What do I have that a kitty cat might want? Coffee mug. Um, what's this? Small bug-sized object with a note attached. You read, Dad, I almost had to give this to you. It's a homing device. I've uploaded a program to your phone that will allow you to track it. I'm sure you'll be able to find some use for it. RJ. That was nice of it. Uh, let's see if she'll want to give Peas a chance. No. 
Uh, rubber band. No. Okay, I don't, I don't think cats like rubber bands. No. I, I thought that might be a tick, so no, I can give her ticks and fleas, and then she scratch herself and run off to the vet, and I'd be free to roam around and rummage through her stuff, but... Say, that'd be... Yay! Cool, even for a cat. No one's allowed back there while the doctor's out. Or while you're watching. Huh? Nothing. Yeah. Okay. So, we must get rid of the, uh, the furry's treat there. Let's check out Intelligence Command. I'm not sure if we've been there yet. It's oh. a place Roger has no familiarity with. Hey, Stellar. Hey, Rog. That's... All my female voices apparently sound the same because my throat is incapable of anything else. Your old friend, Stellar Santiago, has been working for the Xenon Intelligence Command for the last five years. It's been a rule of thumb that ever since the Academy... Whenever the two of you meet up, trouble follows. I really just want to walk yeah, up to her and say, Stellar, six. I've been inside you. <laughs> but I won't. Because that, that would be sexist. Actually, you might. You haven't actually checked out the dialogue. Track. Oh, dear. Do they go there? Okay. Phew. That's it. Alright, so let's find out what's going on from Stellar. So, what's the deal with this virus? Three weeks ago, a virus got uploaded into my hypernet and disabled all the station's weapons and defenses. If anyone attacked the station right now, we'd be sitting ducks. Is this some kind of super virus? Worse, it's an old virus. It resets the clocks on our defense system so they don't read past the year 2000. I heard about that virus. I thought it didn't have any effect on computers. Back then, it didn't. But since computers are sentient nowadays, they've decided they can't exist yet and shut themselves off. We've needed to bring in a team of specialists to fix our computers, and let me tell you, they charge enough. Well, I hope you get the situation under control. Do you have any more questions for me? Not unless you can remember any details from three weeks ago. I'm completely blank. Well, you know where to find me if anything does come up. You know, I should have done that as in Gabriel Knight voice. <laughs> so, you have any more any messages for me? So what have you been up to for the last few years? <laughs> Watch that trench coat, Gabriel. Just taking it easy, sitting behind a computer, repositioning satellites, writing up reports, googling stuff. Honestly, all the excitement went out of my life the day you took off on that ship. So, do you long for the good old days? Heck no, you were responsible for 99% of the stress in my life. Everything's become so much nicer now that I don't have to save your butt every five minutes. What can I say? I'm a man of action. Well, not lately, but you get the idea. I must admit, our whole meeting like this has got me on edge. If you're in trouble, Raj, tell me now. I don't want any surprises later. I may need your help. With what? Oh, my lord. Oh, boy, okay. Uh, let's see. What can... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Has anybody found my luggage yet? Um, not that I'm aware of. Why? Did you lose it? That robot down at the shovel station lost it. That's weird. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone losing their luggage here. Wonderful. So I'm the only one. Just your luck, I guess. Can you shut off this nerve-frying cell in my body? Roger, you know I can't do that. You're a prime suspect. I'm sure there's better suspects than me. How about Putzley? He can be running any number of operations out of the roadhouse. I know it's not you, but I can't tell anyone of the higher-ups without physical evidence. Is this really so hard to understand? And... Are you really in a rush to go anywhere? Take it easy for once. Enjoy the sights. But you do have the power to shut it off, right? Normally, I could shut it down from my terminal, but not without Chief Tongueburn's authorization. Hmm. Hey. You know, I once shut down nanobots in your body. Yeah, repay the favor, Beatrice. You think for yourself, -er. or... Can you help me with my Beatrice problem? Speaking of... You mean her dumping you for the general, Roger? I'm not going to touch that with a 20-foot pole. All I'm going to say is, you could do better. Better as in how? Better as in bikini supermodel better, or professional gymnast better? I mean, someone who isn't a rich snobby b you know what I mean. What do you know about General Havoc? He's the most decorated officer in Ares' forces and responsible for winning over a hundred battles in the last three years alone. 
He can bench press 350, fully trained in all known weapons, and can pilot arm tech like there's no tomorrow. He has a master's degree in rocket physics. He has a terrible memory, though. I see a lot of pain and regret in his eyes. I don't believe he's the cold-blooded killer the media makes him out to be. Some guys might surprise you. Either way, try not to get on his bad side. Yeah, hopefully you haven't forgotten he's gonna destroy the universe. That's what can you tell me about the annoying Benny program? I love Benny! Every day that I come home, he's already got dinner ready for me and taped all my favorite shows. He also fetches my slippers and draws me a bath. Such a great computer program, don't know how I'll ever gone along without him. Did you put him on your computer? No, I saw that old Jack program, but we'll be updating him shortly. So, there hasn't been any recurring problems with Benny slamming doors on people or pouring hot sauce in their eyes? Not to my knowledge. Just my luck. Are there any ships I can rent after this whole mess is over? Maybe not. A lot of people have taken off in last week, and the next shuttle doesn't come in for the next few days. The only ships that have been coming and going are the big starships. Just stick around. I'll show you around. We can hang out like we used to. Apparently all the women I do today with a voice like this are uh, New York Jewish. Enough of this. Can I refresh your coffee? Well, I have been up day and night trying to get this virus problem under control. And this coffee doesn't have any kick at all. Let me know if you can find anything to keep me up. Are you playing video games on that thing? No, I'm compiling reports and reviewing station workers. Work-related stuff. But you could play video games, right? I've got a couple Mario games on here. Sweet! I've been working out lately. Look at my pecs! Been hitting the gym, doing lots of reps. Pecs? Uh-huh, I see. Well, more like doing push-ups and broom closets. But seriously, check out these pecs. Pretty tight, eh? Have you been exercising any other part of your body? What do you mean? You look like you have boobs, Raj. But mad boobs, right? Either fill out the rest of your upper body or I'm getting you a sports ball for Christmas. I knew someone was going to mention it. I'll see you later. Later, Raj. Stay out of trouble. Take some of my coffee. Oh, no. So we'll take it directly. Okay. Slurs, come on, come I got some grounds here, Stellar. Want me to just dump it in your coffee? I'll take anything at this point. Crap, I mixed in the orgasmic powder. Oh, look at her go. Now oh, she's energized. Uh, let's see. It's Stellar's personal computer. She uses this term to access most of Ares' confidential information and records for investigation purposes. Providing she has the security clearance, anyway. Mind if I use your computer for a second? I need to look some stuff up. This is a government computer, Roger. You're not even supposed to be standing near it. Besides, doesn't your phone have net access? It doesn't even have voicemail. Well, in any case, I can't let you on here, but I'm sure there's some internet cafes on one of the lower levels. Damn it. What's this thing? Civil maintenance guys are scattered throughout the station, working diligently to get the defenses back up and running. They're ignoring everyone. Erg. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, it's another one of those things that came up right at the end of your last session that... ...probably didn't get a lot of notice. Darn. The whole virus thing, and you're a suspect. Let's see. Doesn't appear to be too much else I can do in here at this point, so... So continue our explorations. Okay, let's see. Uh, shuttle station, been there. Recruitment office, been there. Supply, uh, church. Waste disposal, I don't think I've seen yet. No, nope, that's where your job is. So this is my life now. Hey, what's that? Gleam. That can't possibly be... The ring! I can't believe it landed down here! Maybe my luck is changing after all. He said with cautious optimism. Hey, what gives? 